Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the difference between two dates. I'm going to show you how to simply calculate the number of days between two dates, which we can then use to calculate the number of weeks. And I'm also going to teach you an undocumented function called date diff that we can use to calculate the number of months or the number of years between two dates. So here I am in Excel. I'm using Excel 2010, but this technique works for every version of Excel. I have a list of start dates and a list of end dates. Started on September 1st, ended September 5th, and so on. Now this example only works if the start date is less than the end date. And by less than, I mean occurs before. In Excel, larger dates are more recent dates, or dates further into the future. Now you can calculate the difference between two dates by simply subtracting them. So in this case, equals B2 minus A2, and then press Enter. That gives you a 4. There are 4 days between September 5th and September 1st. And I can now autofill this down. There are 484 days between January 3rd, 2011 and May 1st, 2012. So that's the number of days between those two dates, and that's the easy one to calculate. All right, and let's just format all this to make it look pretty. There we go. Now, days are easy. Weeks are easy, because weeks are equal to seven days. So to calculate the number of weeks, all I have to do is say, take this number and divide it by seven, like that. And that'll give you the number of weeks. Okay, there are 69 weeks between these two dates, right, weeks. And if you only want to show whole weeks, just take this and call int. Use the int function, right, that'll round that to an integer, like so. Right, there are 69 whole weeks between those two days without a fractional component. Now, months and years are a little more difficult because there aren't the same number of months between two dates. It might be 29, there might be 28, there might be 30, 31 days. So to calculate months, we're going to use an undocumented function called date diff. It's undocumented because it's not going to show up in the Excel help system. It's actually an old function that is, it goes way back to the Lotus 1, 2, 3 days, and Microsoft included it in Excel for backward compatibility because a lot of people like to use it. I personally still like to use it myself because it's real simple to use. There are other methods, and I cover the other methods in my full Excel Expert 2 class, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. But if you want a real simple, quick way to calculate the number of months or years between two dates, just use the date diff function. And here's how it works. Equals date diff, 1f. It's not even going to show up in the little drop-down menu because, like I said, it's an undocumented function. Open parentheses up. It takes three bits of information. The start date, comma, the end date, comma, and then the interval that you want, which can be either day, month, or year. Either a D, an M, or a Y inside of quotes. So in this case, I want quote M, close quote, and then close my parentheses. Enter. And there's the number of whole months between those two dates. In this case, it's a zero. But if I drag that down, you can see there are 15 whole months between these two dates. There are 480 months between these two dates. So that's the quick way to calculate months. And likewise, with years, to calculate whole years, it's equals date diff, open parenthesis, start date, comma, end date, comma, and then inside of quotes, a Y for years. Press enter, and again, zero whole years here, but if I drag this down, there's one whole year and 40 whole years. So date diff is perfect for calculating someone's age. Now, like I said, there are a ton of different techniques for calculating weeks, months, and years to more specific values if you need them. I cover all of the different methods and functions for calculating the differences between dates and times 
in my Excel 2010 Expert Level 2 class. That is the date time class. Excel Expert Level 2 is about an hour and a half long. It covers pretty much everything you want to know about using dates and times in Excel. We'll talk about how Excel stores dates and times internally. We'll learn about date time arithmetic, adding two dates, subtracting two dates or times. We'll learn how to use custom date time codes and formats to display dates and times exactly how you want to see them. We'll learn about all the different popular date time functions. There are a ton of different functions we'll go over. Year, month, day, weekday, calculating the number of business days between two dates, all kinds of different functions. We'll learn how to determine the components of a date time so you can take any date time value and pull out any specific bit of information, like how many seconds are in this date. We'll learn how to construct a date time from its components. In other words, here's a day, here's a month, here's a year, put that together into a valid date time. We'll learn how to calculate someone's age or an anniversary date exactly. Determine the number of work days between two dates. And then for our sample project, we'll create a timesheet to actually track employee hours. So again, that's ExcelLearningZone.com and look for Excel 2010 Expert Level 2. As always, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about Excel, please feel free to post them.